You know, putting Android 17 into Dragon Ball Fighters as one of the final two DLC characters for the first season is almost as genius as Android 17 realizing that Jiren's weakness is that you gotta hit him really hard. I mean, just think about it, having 17 in the game is like a taste of what could come if there ever is a second season for fighters. You want those Tournament of Power characters? Then you're gonna have to wait for the second season. But hey, in the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube, our Twitter, and our Facebook for an additional chance to win a deluxe edition of Dragon Ball Fight. The point is, it's a great way to get our attention. Of course, that only works if 17 is good in Dragon Ball Fighters, And he's actually really, really good, so... Damn, when's season 2, Bandai? Of course, just because he's pretty good doesn't mean Android 17 is the perfect character. He does have his fair share of pros and cons. And this video is dedicated to focusing on those and talking about whether or not Android 17 might be worth your time as a player. Let's go ahead and start off with the cons for Android 17, because I feel like the few he does have are super noticeable as soon as you start playing the character. The big one that I want to talk about is Android 17 in neutral. Sure, the character can spin around in place and look very confusing, but that's not really doing you all too much from full screen. At that range, you'd much rather prefer a beam or a decent key blast. Android 17 really doesn't have either of those. His key blast in the air is alright, but it does come across as a lesser version of a Super Saiyan Vegeta, and that pretty much places him with everybody else in the game that has a worse air key than Vegeta, so pretty much everybody. Except 16. Being bad during neutral with 17 is super noticeable because he's a character that excels so much when he gets in on his opponent. As soon as you pick this character up, you'll notice extremely quickly that the ease of the game depends heavily on how close you are to the opponent. To help new 17 players get a better idea of where their character is at his best, I've come up with a little chart that can be remembered as so. If you're in green, you're looking clean. If you're in yellow, you're feeling mellow. And if you're in red, you're fucking dead, dude. Another con, if you can call it that for 17, is that he definitely isn't the easiest character in Dragon Ball Fighters. Now I'm not saying that 17 requires a PhD to play, but he's definitely a little more thought provoking than let's say someone like uh, Super Saiyan Goku. Being super optimal with this character is something that I don't even think we've seen yet, partly because I'm doing this video super early. But regardless, that does go to show that to get the most out of this character, you really do have to put the work in. Now we can move on to the pros of playing 17, and like I've been alluding to this whole time, once 17 gets in on his opponent, he turns into a really amazing character, and this is due to his Rekka system or as I call it, the gear system, which allows him to put constant changing pressure on his opponent. Now, of course, when you go for that overhead, you do have to be careful and throw out an assist, otherwise your opponent could punish with a down heavy, and that, uh... That's not a good look. To emphasize a little more on why this system makes him so good when applying pressure on his opponent, it's because it allows him to go for a low or an overhead depending on what buttons he chooses. He can also go for a Gohan style fastball with his 2L that actually does hit low. I know, Arxis is really killing it with this character, dude. So anyway, the main point I was making here is that if you're blocking against Android 17, just give it a few seconds. He'll most likely be getting opened up pretty shortly. The other pro of playing Android 17 comes in the form of his raw damage. If he is able to open you up as long as he has an assist or any sort of extension left in him, he can get a decent amount of damage out of this, especially if he does hit you with a standing medium and goes into his 3H. That move can be especially deadly when it comes to scaling. It also helps to be into flashy combos if you are going to main 17, as a lot of his best damaging stuff also looks great as well. And now we can move on to where I feel Android 17 belongs on a team, and if you can't tell, I think this is definitely a character that you want running out on point. Whether it be because his neutral isn't that good and you want to supplement it with assist, or you just don't want to get... Yeah, that. Either reason is good enough to run Android 17 on point when you consider that his mix-ups only get deadlier when you add in extra assist. Personally, I like to run Android 17 with at least a beam assist to make standing in that red area a little less scary. And then this may just be my personal bias coming through, but I also feel that Android 17 works wonders with Yamcha. A couple of teams I recommend running are the exact one I just mentioned all put together. Team Android 17 forces you to block. And of course, team, we need an adult badly. When it's all said and done, I think Android 17 was a fantastic addition to Dragon Ball Fighters, as he shows the raw potential that the future of this game has. Seeing characters like Jiren or Ultra Instinct Goku given as much attention to detail and a unique playstyle like 17 would be more than welcome to see in a future edition of Dragon Ball Fighters or just in a future season. And I would say that if you want a more unique rushdown style character in a game already about rushdown, then you should definitely give Android 17 a look. And that brings us to the end of this Should You Play video. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments what you think about Android 17 and who you want to see me tackle next in this format. And if you like this channel and want to support the videos I make, then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss one. And hey, maybe check out a few of the other videos on the channel that should be on your screen right now. I'll be down in the comments as always, and I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next video.